In part C, we need to extract some values out of our expression. So we can identify this 10 as relating to the amplitude of the wave. And this point 2, if you remember in part B, we, when we convert to the time domain, we can see that this turns into the argument of the cosine. We have omega t plus kz, and so we can identify this point 2 as being k. Because remember to convert from the phasor domain to the time domain, we multiply times e to the j omega t, that's where this comes from, and then uh, this term which is already in the expression is right here. So if we know that k is equal to point 2, we also know that k is equal to 2 pi over lambda. And uh -huh, that's exactly what we want to solve for. So we can solve for lambda, which is 2 pi over k, which is 2 pi over point 2. And that turns out to be 31.42 uh, meters.